Okay, now uh, we are going to uh, discuss about the second method. Uh, we are using uh, algebra uh, equation. So again, um, in this problem, we are having our ambient pressure on both surfaces. So um, if you are using uh, algebra, uh, algebraic uh, equation, we are using, uh, you can straight away use a P gauge, uh, P uh, pressure sensor uh, measurement reading in our calculation. Or in other case, we use a again, uh, straight away use a rho GH in our calculation for uh, resultant force. So FR equal to rho GH A, because uh, we force equal to pressure times area. And what is your HI? HI, we take uh, the same uh, equation that we have just now. We take D plus L divided by 2 uh, sine 30. And DA equal to WL. So what? where is HI? Yeah. So if you look at the diagram, um, D is here. So we need to find the, the H of our interest point. So all, all the line, uh, all the distance above the dotted line here is D. So you want to find the distance here. So straight away, um, because since we are using the gauge pressure, we straight away look to the centroid, centroid uh, location. So centroid always at the center of the plate. So that's why we can straight away use uh, central plate is uh, here. If your L is four, so your the distance from A to the center of the plate here will be L divided by two. Okay. Uh, so uh, a little bit different from the integration method just now. So if you use uh, algebraic uh, equation, um, we are referring to uh, pressure acting on the centroid here, C centroid here. So we are using the length from the uh, A to the center of the plate, which, which means you are taking L divided by two uh, to get the centroid. So again, where where is the uh, the height of the centroid is you take the D times plus the H here. H here is uh, you uh, is a L divided by two sine 30 degree. There's a 30 degree here. Uh, so if there's a small triangular here that uh, you, you use to derive the, maybe I label this one as question mark. So you want to find the length of the question mark here. So this is L divided by two. This is 30 degree. Again, you use a sine relationship to find the question mark uh, length here. So your HI equal to D plus L divided by two sine 30 degree. And then recall, uh, yeah, the record your area is W times L. So um, the rest is a substitution. So FR equal to rho G, uh, H D A, you substitute your H um, term with D plus L divided by two sine 30 degree times the A, A is the width times the length. Um, and then you, you, you rearrange again the equation. So you have uh, FR equal to rho G W D L plus L square divided by two sine 30 degree. So if you're using uh, algebraic uh, approach, then you are focusing on the gauge pressure. Gauge pressure always focus on centroid location. Okay, just put the mark uh, beside your notes there. Yeah. So if you are if you are using pressure gauge, pressure gauge uh, or gauge pressure will always act on the centroid centroid of the object. Of the surface. Okay, so the rest is just substitution of uh, numbers and equation. 
Okay. So uh, this equation here, you will find that is actually arrive at some point. It will be same as direct integration. Only the 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 starting step here. Yeah, we are using the the forces of pressure acting on the centroid. The rest is just substitution. Right? Oh, oh, this one you need to calculate the y prime. So y prime equal to y at the centroid plus the second moment of your area divided by a times your uh, y uh, through the centroid. Okay. So again, this equation is is the one that I show you uh, before we start our lecture. So uh, this is the one that when we consider or we're using catch pressure or we only consider uh, or without the, the ambient pressure. Yeah. So our centroid, again, your centroid, you're always um, half of the plate. So where is the location of centroid? This location is always from the surface of the water. So L over two already explained. So you are you are taking this plate here to here is your L. Centroid is at the center of the plate. So the length from here to here is L divided by two. You need to add the distance of your uh, Y here. Huh? Distance of your Y here. So this one of your y here, you calculate using the known value, which is your d here. D is two meter, and there's a 30 degree angle here. You want to calculate the length of your y here, question mark here. So there's a, another triangular here. We use trigonometry equation. Uh, opposite of the angle and the uh, hypotenuse, then you need to use sine, so you use D divided by sine 30 degree for this question mark uh, length plus L divided by 2, you get your centroid location uh, from the surface. Okay. Area, very straightforward. You take your length times the width, which is 20 meter square. Ixx equal to 1 over 12 WL cube. Again, where you get this equation, you get from the appendix inside the model. You open up, go and find a second moment of area for rectangular plate. This rectangular plate. There's an equation to find Ixx will be given 1 over 12 WL cube. Standard, huh? this one is uh, you just refer to the table to find the IXX for rectangular. Right, I think uh, you learn about this one in your static uh, module already. Okay, only the appendix that I give you is a bit different or uh, presentation, but the data still the same as what you've seen in your static module. Okay, you replace all the value for your IXX. Again, IXX is your second moment of area. Um, w is 5, L is 4. Then your IXX is 26.7 meter cube. You have your YC, you have your area, you have your IXX, YC you already have, you're able to find your I prime. Again, be careful when you calculate your YC, YC always from the surface. And then IXX, you refer to appendix here. Yeah? So we don't expect you to memorize this equation, but we expect you able to find out uh, uh, the related uh, information about second moment of area. Okay. The rest of substitution, a uh, reference answer for your uh, revision will be y prime equal to 6.22 meter. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. 
quite straightforward. Huh? So y prime, you will find already in this case. I move forward to x prime. Again, x prime, uh, we will consider, uh, since we are using algebraic uh, equation, uh, we will focus on the pressure through the centroid. So you take the x centroid plus the i, y, x, y, the second moment of um, area again, um, divided by a, y, c. So for, again, for rectangular uh, shape, your i, x, y equal to zero. There's no uh, moment created on the x, y, uh, x plane, y direction. Okay, x plane, y direction. Okay, I need to explain what is I. I, I explained before this about the two notation here. Uh, again, the first one is your plane on the axis. This one is the direction. So you imagine you have a plate, and this plate is, I copy the axis. Huh? So this is your Z. Um, this is your X, uh, this is your Y. And this is your plate. And your X is coming up from the, maybe I'll draw your X here. Huh? X is in this direction. So you know that your force, let me change the color of my pen. So if your force, your force is acting on the YZ plane, Z direction uh, on the YZ plane. So we need to find the second moment, the moment created by this force on the x plane y direction. So again, your x plane will be on the x axis. I use uh, maybe purple color. So I draw my x plane here. My x plane will be uh, this one and at the y uh, at the y direction so y direction will be here okay so um, this force will not create a uh, moment on on this plate yeah x y sorry y is here okay i redraw my plane huh? Um, let me erase my. Okay. You explain y direction. So you know that your your force is is in this direction. In is in z. So it will rotate at y z, right? So this force will not create anything in y direction. There's no force that that turning in this direction uh, along the the z axis, right? Because uh, if you see the moment, the moment will rotate along x axis only, right? The green color arrow it will it will turn around the x axis, right? Yeah. So it, it will take some time to digest this kind of information. Uh, but for information, uh, in this case, if you consider a uh, need to be shortcut, means if you consider um, IXY, which is uh, you consider a plane that go outside the screen, you will get uh, there's no moment, uh, there's no second moment uh, for that uh, direction. So if your IXY equal to zero, so this one go to zero, you only left up to the x centroid, which is 2.5 meter. Okay, because your width, your x, uh, your x will be your x of the plate is your width, which is 5 meter. So half of your centroid, half of the plate will be your centroid. Uh, so it will be 2.5 meter. So you find your x prime in this way. Okay, so uh, we have covered both method. 
uh, one is direct integration, one is uh, alg uh, algebra uh, or algebra uh, equation. So um, be familiar with it. Uh, only what is challenging for uh, algebra uh, equation, it will be the RxX uh, equation. So you need to refer to uh, appendix if you can't remember, okay, uh, this one. Okay, I stopped the recording.